let's get into it. <laughs> um, you probably you probably kind of know where this, this is going, right? You like Henry, where are you going with this? Where where is this going? We've been down here before. Steve Cardenas. If you guys don't know who he is, he was the one who replaced Austin St. John in the Mighty Morphin franchise. And what happened was, you know, with Austin being the original, when Rocky being the, the second, you know, the second coming of the iteration of the Red Ranger, he kept getting, you know, people like, yo, <laughs> um, who is the Red Ranger? They're like, oh, Austin St. John got arrested for, you know, the PPP stuff. And they use a picture of Rocky. You like, what the fuck? I know he was watching this shit looking hey, like. Hey, yo, what the fuck? And he even he even made a post about it. He's like, yo, what the F, Daily Mail? You're supposed to be prestigious news corporation. Do your effing fact checking. Using my pick and associate with, with this ish. Now, Daily Mail, they may have some beef with him, right? Now, they've since removed his picture from, from this. Um, but... When Austin St. John got his such positive response for wanting to put Nazi, uh, well, Hitler quotes on t shirts, uh, his picture was in here. You like, wait, no, no, it wasn't. At this point, they have to know. Nah, they, they, they know. They even put, you know, LaFeur up in this bitch, but they also put a picture of Rocky. <laughs> now, look, to be fair, to be fair, they're only citing this for um, Amy Jo Johnson. But if I am Steve Cardenas, I'm like, I'm looking, I'm like, yo. Hey, yo, what the fuck? I can't win. You guys just keep using my oh, picture. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God, bro. Oh, hell no, man. You what like, bro, he, he is, he's the one who wanted to make the Hitler shirts, not me. But they're like, well, we really wasn't talking about you. We just, we were just kind of talking about ASJ. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We were just talking about ASJ. People like poor Steve. Like, yeah, poor fucking Steve, right? Poor Steve. And then, you know, he, he got caught up, right? Hey, how the hell you watching all my videos, but you ain't sub? Come on, man. Hit that sub button. So he make that. You know, he joke about this, you know, hey, look, this shit happens. <laughs> now he's seen it all. Dallas right here. Hey, Steve Cardenas. Someone just Google Red Ranger. He popped up and they just put his name under it. This is what keeps happening. But now you go to the order, right? You're like, what's the order? You remember this? How could you forget about the order? The order movie where, you know, the, the money 142 racks, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they pulled the Karen Ashley. We call this the Karen Ashley. If you take your money and run, I have the money, y'all. There's poor people running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can run. <laughs> when you run off on the plug, you like, well, that's the Karen Ashley. You know, the Yellow Ranger who did this, and then you know, ASJ didn't shoot her no bail. He didn't shoot her no bail whatsoever. Super chats, I'm gonna get to you. He he just threw her under the bus. They like, hey, what's going on with this order movie? He like, and everybody loves her. She's like our little ray of sunshine. Point nine percent of it. And she reached out to all of us, and everybody loves her. She's like our little ray of sunshine. She's just sweet and bright, and everybody loves her. And she wanted to put something together that had that brought all of the Rangers from multiple generations together for the fans. Kind of like a reunion, with, but without JDF. And uh, she did. She created the order. She wrote a script. We all flew to L.A. And, well, I flew. Most, a lot of them were already out there. And we were on set, ready to film. And we had permission from SAG, which is the union, if you're an actor, and they all gave us permission. We were ready. We had stunts there. We were, I was choreographing my first fight for the movie. And uh, the union came in the day before we filmed and shut it down. Now, this is supposed to be a true statement. Now, it was rumored that someone internal dropped a dime to SAG that they were doing stuff without, you know, the proper, uh, I don't know, signage or whatever, if you will. And they did the update video and, you know, they're just laughing. You guys like, got to know what happened. Um, you got to know that we weren't just, you know, uh, spending money all willy nilly. We had a plan. We were executing that plan. And unfortunately, we were stopped by things we could not foresee. Um, so now we are here because we want to give you an update. And... The update is that we have not given up. I've, 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 you know I've been posting for months that we are working on a distribution deal, and we are. We're actually talking to 
a couple of different opportunities that have been presented to us and a couple of different people. <laughs> now, this shit would be fine if this happened, you know, a week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and we just kept getting order updates. But this shit was six years ago. The order still ain't came out. People who, who paid for comic books and got them shits. You know, that was one of like the perks. You know, you had all the perks. You know, people ain't get the perks. And then you're like, uh, well, Brent is like, well, she made people right. She gave them free tickets to Ranger Stop. Well, somebody actually slid and goddamn Steve Cardenas. <laughs> uh, they slid in his goddamn DMs, right? They're like, look, 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 look. Do you think that it's fair that you're keeping the money that you kept from Indiegogo? Go, I mean, sorry, Indiegogo, when you didn't finish the product? Now, look, Stevie, like, look, look, uh, look, look. What project? I never had any Indiegogo for anything, right? Anything. And look, <laughs> they they hitting them hard, guys. I love when I see stuff like this because now you're, you're you're about to get an honest answer from Steve Cardenas that you would never get at Con. You would never get with a camera in his face that he would probably only whisper to you in private. You took part in a donation for a movie that never came. I'm aware that Karen Ashley took part in it. But you are still part of the project. Now what they do? Baba, <laughs> we up, we up. Acknowledge me. We up right here. They they shoot them this. They shoot them this. They shoot them my shit. Now you like, well, what what he say? What he say? All right, guys. <laughs> what he say? Look, look. We got to put some respect on his name, guys. We got to put some respect on his name because the response you about to he like this. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you come at me like this? How dare you come at me sideways? You don't know shit. You know, these fans, you know how the fans be. Y'all don't be knowing. Y'all don't be knowing, right? He says, look, don't lump me in with that. I never had control of in of the money or what happened with production. He like, look, I ain't, I ain't touching none of that money. Everyone just throwing Karen ass under the bus. They like, is that bus coming? All right, Karen, lay down. <laughs> Get Lay down, God damn it. <laughs> You held the money. You touched the money. I invested my time and effort into shooting that trailer and didn't make a dime from it because I wanted to make the project for the fans, but nothing was in my control on that project. So don't you dare judge me or accuse me of anything. I dedicated my time for free to try to get that project off the ground. Holy shit. Holy shit. Let him cook. Look, Steve Cardenas, if we know you was giving it up like this, we'd have had you on the show. Jesus, man, like, holy shit. Whatever happened after that was way, way out of my hands. Get your facts straight before you start popping your mouth off about me. Like, in other words, shut up, bitch. Holy shit. Matter of fact, <laughs> matter of fact, unless the next words you type to back to me are, I am sorry for accusing you. Then just unfollow and or block me. I don't even and don't even bother me again. If you answer me back and your first words are I'm sorry, I won't even bother reading what you what BS you have to say. God damn. <laughs> Steve Cardenas. He hey, hey, he got my vote for, for, for the top Red Ranger. We got we gotta put some respect on his name, y'all. We got it. We have to give respect where respect is due. Put some respect on my name. Hey, hey, he said, look, that's Austin shit. He, he, he ain't with the Austin shit. He ain't with the Karen Ashley order shit. He like, look, of this money, of this money right here, I ain't see none of it. His name is, I showed up, I filmed, I left, keep my name out of that ish. I'm like, God damn. Hey, 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 oh shit. Oh nice. man, what do you guys think of Steve Cardenas? Uh, go look. He like, look, man. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of getting lumped in with ASJ. I'm tired of it. I do not. I had nothing to do with the order. I'm tired of that. Was Karen Ashley? That was put that shit on Karen Ashley. Don't put that shit on me. You know what I'm saying? And then he got the he dropped the DMs, man. The DMs is like, bro, you know this is him too. He like, look, this ain't no publicist. <laughs> he, he put some. He he had time today. He had time today. Uh, but what do you think of Steve Cardina setting the record straight about the order? Let me know in the comment section. I'll see you next video. Peace.